What's up, this is Jake with Hike 734, hiking with my wife Kristen, and today we used the aerial tram in Teton Village to take us up to hike over to Marion Lake and Granite Canyon in Teton National Park. And uh, we started out over in Teton Village and rode the tram up and worked our way around all the way over to Marion Lake. And like I said, worked our way out to Granite Canyon and then headed on back up towards the village. So anyways, we went over by the tram and started taking it up and that is really fun. It is just this really big tram and it's just got really cool views looking out at Rendezvous Mountain and just a ski resort in general. And so it's really cool whenever you go over one of the trusses that kind of swings. And anyways, it dumps you up to the top of Rendezvous Mountain. And uh, from there, we just, uh, First of all, the views are awesome. So even if you just take that up and um, then we walk down the ridge line over to the saddle and I'm um, just cool views all the way down that. And then from there, it drops down into the trees on the North Slope. And um, even this time of year, we just have a lot of still really good flowers left, which was surprising um, pleasantly. So anyways, that was really cool and uh, dropped down into this really big cirque, just towering walls and this big amphitheater. And um, once we got to the bottom of that, had to do a little bit of uphill to get up and over that ridge. And that is a, I mean, it's nice and open and you just get really cool views looking down into Granite Canyon. And anyways, continued on through that. And once we got on the other side, once again, kind of the same thing of through the trees. And um, that opened up to views of Rendezvous Peak, which is super confusing when you have peak and mountain. <laughs> but anyways, and once again here, you just go through a lot of forest. And then every once in a while, you have these little pocket alpine meadows. And then from those alpine meadows start to get bigger and bigger. And you walk to this bigger bowl, once again, more flowers. And then, yeah, it just opens up into these really great meadows where the forest becomes something that you just alternately do. And then, yeah, we um, came down into the South Fork of Granite Creek and that was really pretty, just, just a nice broad base in there and then climbed up and it was a little bit steep <laughs> and then, which was nice to get to the top of that. And then it was steep down um, over to the middle fork of granite. And um, anyways, from there, it was just really cool just seeing the different mountains that are surrounding. Lots of really cool open views and uh, yeah, really nice area. Um, definitely loved just, just going through all this hot, nice high alpine. And um, anyways, but then once again, we climbed up and uh, drop down into this really cool, uh, just boulder field area. This is the limestone boulders just everywhere. And um, drop down to what is essentially the North Fork um, of Granite Creek. And then from there, it was just really, um, just walking up another really open slope and we were almost at Marion Lake. And then finally we popped out to Marion Lake and that's just a really pretty lake just tucked amongst these really big cliffs and it's just lined with some trees and so just a great spot to stop and have a snack, have lunch, whatever time you're getting there. And um, yeah, just really beautiful. And we decided to continue on past the lake just a little bit, maybe like half a mile and climbed up onto this ridge and saw a really cool, saw a prairie falcon, which was super cool just to watch it soaring around and hunting. And uh, finally we got up to the top and if you continued on that trail, it would take you over to Fox Creek Pass, but we just wanted to see what it looked like on the other side. And uh, yeah, just looking over into the Jedediah wilderness is cool. And um, anyway, so yeah, we went back down and um, we had been told there was a moose and the first time we went through there, we didn't actually see the moose. And then we looked again because we got better instructions and we saw the moose just bedded down. So all you could see was the top of her head and her ears. Um, but we also, what was really cool is on the way in, we also saw uh, three bighorn sheep and that was really sweet as they're kind of a special species here. Um, and of course it's always awesome to see them. So anyways, that was really cool. And then, um, yeah, so then we started dropping down into Granite Canyon. And um, Granite Canyon is really cool. It's it's definitely not as uh, beautiful, I would say, as like Paintbrush or Cascade, but big open hillsides and just really, um, just cool tree pockets. And then there's just like willows down by the creek itself. And um, yeah, just just great open views around. And I um, mean, it just kind of, you know, does that little bouncing back and forth once again to with some trees, but overall, like, it spends a lot of time open towards the top. And um, we actually look, took a look back up where those bighorn sheep, where I was hoping they would be. And we saw a few more, so totaled six in all. So that was kind of a cool herd. But anyways, but from there, it, it kind of drops in the trees. Um, and uh, 
and I was afraid that it was going to spend most of its time in the trees, but it actually um, still pops out every once in a while to some cool views. And um, there was this one really amazing boulder field, like huge boulders, and I was we were going to walk past it later, but you could see it up high. And um, and then really we, it crosses over and hangs out mostly on the south facing slope, so you have great views um, for a lot of the hike and that upper stretch. And so that's. So that was good. At first from the top, I thought, man, this thing is going to go ahead and just be a walk in the trees. But eventually it does get into the trees. But while you're in the trees, you have some really cool views down into um, Granite Creek itself. And there's some really slow moving areas. And then there's um, faster areas. And the trees in themselves, it's just a really nice forest. So, and, and in this part, you pass the patrol cabin, which is um, just kind of one of those markers there that trail crew uses. And so it's just kind of this cool old cabin. Um, but yeah, from there, you just, work, you just work your way and it just does a lot of alternating between forest and then open and then some little bit of meadowy stuff and then the slow moving swampy stuff and then as you get further down it ends up uh, the canyon gets more closed in and you get these really big boulder fields and that huge boulder field across the the way it, you can get really up close to, and see it and it's beautiful and cool and anyways just from there it just alternates um, I'm just going to keep showing just a bunch of it alternating because <laughs> it's just really pretty as we were walking out. And there's one section where you get to your first glimpse of Jackson Hole. And in that one section um, is definitely a little bit spooky. Lots of bear sign and tall, uh, lots of willows and berry bushes and that kind of stuff. And we saw a lot of bear scat, so that was definitely a little spooky. Um, but from there, yeah, it just kind of drops in the trees. And the creek moves a lot faster here as it rolls over the boulders. And just all the way out, you're just, for the most part, you're actually really close to the creek, which is nice. Um, is it just kind of cascades and plays and it's just, it's cool. So anyways, um, finally we got all the way down to the forest bottom and things leveled out. We took a right and crossed over Granite Creek and uh, then started working our way along the Valley Creek Trail as it just kind of passed its way through, you know, some just forest and got into some aspens which were pretty and a couple of views of Jackson Hole itself and um, eventually got over to um, Teton's uh, Teton Village property and you can definitely tell by the tags and and now we are walking down a ski run to go ahead and hop in our car and call it a day but um, really big day I think it's like 16 17 miles I'm getting different numbers from different maps and so when I make mine it'll be all clear but anyways really cool day definitely recommend this one um, yeah lots of fun lots of big alpine goodness and a lot less people than a lot of other places um, around Grand Teton National Park so anyways this is Jake hiking with Kristen taking the aerial tram from Teton Village to the top of Rendezvous Mountain and exploring Marion Lake and down to Granite Canyon and Grand Teton National Park if you like this video, make sure you subscribe on YouTube and head on over to hike734.com for more goodness.